Guys, this is Tamman here doing what I love, and welcome back to another episode of NFL Predictions. Last time we did week six, and before we get into week seven today, let's recap week six. Man, this was crazy. What a week we had. I personally went eight and six. I mean, this was just a, a fantastic week we had. The Texans being the Chiefs in a shootout. Mahomes versus Watson. We had the Denver Broncos winning a defensive battle. We had kind of an upset of the week. The Steelers beating the Chargers with their third-string quarterback. Speaking of upsets, the Jets beating the Cowboys, which I'm super happy because the Cowboys lost. You know, that's always a win. A very defensive game here since Jacksonville. What a comeback by Seattle. Vikings destroyed the Eagles. Uh, Panthers won in London. We had the whole uh, ref fiasco on Monday night. Uh, 49ers still undefeated. Just what a week. Probably one of the most... I think every week in the NFL on this season has been very um, storyline heavy, but I think definitely this week had a lot of them. It was just really entertaining, and a lot of, you know, unsure things happen. So let's go here into week seven. We start on Thursday night with an AFC West duel, the Chiefs versus the Broncos. The Chiefs start out this season 4-0. I thought, hey, you know, they'll probably make it to the Super Bowl, maybe even win it. But since then, they have lost to the Colts. And the Texans. And for me, I think they're going to lose a third game. Denver has a really good defensive line that I think is going to attack a very weak Chiefs O-line. And the Chiefs run defense hasn't been that great. Carlos Hyde and Deshaun Watson ran all over them last week. And I think Phil Blinsey is going to do the same. Could I see Patrick Mahomes, you know, pulling out some magic and winning? Yes, I could. You know, I wouldn't be shocked if that happened. But I think Denver is going to get a division upset win. We have the Jaguars and the Bengals. And yes, Jacksonville lost to the Saints. But, you know, Gardner Minshew, he's a rookie. He went up a good defense. You know, he's going to have good and bad games. I think he's going to have a bounce-back game and hand Cincinnati the seventh loss. Uh, unless the Dolphins pull off a division upset win, which I could see happening, I think the Bills are going to win. I think they have a great defense, and they have a bye week to rest. We have another division game here. The Houston Texans against the Indianapolis Colts. Man, this is going to be a great one. Jacoby Brissett has really impressed me with how he's played kind of really well and how the running game has been integrated in. But I think the Texans defense has the pieces to stop the running game. And I think the Sean Watson and crew will win another great game. Chargers-Titans, two very interesting teams. Um, for me, I'm going to go with L.A. Tennessee, you know, Marcus Merida is benched to starting Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill did look good when he came in the Broncos game, but I would rather go with the Chargers, a team that has an identity. And I think if Austin Eckler can get going, the Tennessee Titans have had a bad run defense. I'm going to give the Chargers this win. Monday Night Football here, we have an AFC East duel, the New England Patriots, 6-0 against the New York Jets. For me, I think that the New York Jets are a pretty great team. Sam Darnold looked good, really good against the Dallas Cowboys. I was highly impressed with him. And I think that they have a good defense. And I think they're going to get the upset win here in uh, New York and give the Patriots the first loss of the season. We only have two AFC versus NFC games this week. We have the Oakland Raiders against the Green Bay Packers. I think the Packers are one of the best teams in the NFL, and I think they'll get a win. I do like the Raiders, and I think they'll probably get about seven or eight wins this season. I just think Green Bay's defense is great, and I think they're going to go here to 6-1 and one on the season. Man, I am so excited for this game. The Baltimore Ravens taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Battle of the Birds. We have Lamar Jackson versus Russell Wilson. Two quarterbacks who have been amazing to watch. However, I'm a Ravens fan. But I'm going to go with the Seattle Seahawks. Even with the Ravens getting that trade from Marcus Peters, I, I just feel like that the defense still has some holes to figure out. And Russell Wilson's been playing at an unbelievable level. I think the Seattle Seahawks will win a very highly entertaining game. Also, since Seattle, a very hard place to win. I do hope Baltimore wins, but I don't think they will. NFC here, we have the Rams taking on the Falcons. You know, the Rams got Jaron Ramsey. But I think Falcons win. Their defense hasn't been that great, but Jared Goff and L.A. have not impressed me at all. Matt Ryan has played really well. And I think they're going to win here. I just think their offense, it's who do I trust more, Matt Ryan or Jared Goff? And I trust Atlanta a bit more here. I could see LA winning, but I'm going Atlanta. 
We have the Cardinals taking on the Giants here. Cardinals on a two-game winning streak, and I think that will extend here in New York. Kyle Murray versus Daniel Jones, you know, two rookie quarterbacks this season. Uh, Daniel Jones uh, has impressed me, but he's been very inconsistent. Kyle Murray has looked really comfortable in the pocket, and I think that David Johnson's whole running game will get going. I think Arizona will win. I do think it will be close, but also the Arizona Cardinals get their Pro Bowl cornerback Patrick Peterson back, so I think that will make life harder on Daniel Jones. Man, Vikings Lions, this is gonna be a great one. Oh man, uh, you know Minnesota's coming off a down and win over over Philadelphia, but the Lions are coming off a loss against the Packers. You know where the referees made some questionable calls, and I think they're gonna get the win. I, I it's I just think Detroit has that feeling in them. I think Matthew Staff is gonna play a really good game. I think this will be a really close one, but I have the Lions winning it. Niners, Redskins, Redskins won the first games, but the Niners are one of the best teams. Their defense is amazing, and their offense gets it done. I think the Niners are one of the best teams in the NFL. It's either them or in the NFC. It's either them or the New Orleans Saints who play the Chicago Bears. For me, I'm going to go with the Saints. I think the Saints' defense is playing really well. I know the Bears have a good defense, but I trust kind of Sean Payton's offense more. I think Teddy Bridgewater has been doing enough to win, and I think that, because I do think Drew Brees comes back next week, so I think in Teddy's final start, he's had a great run here, and I think he's going to get the Saints to 6-1. and one. Then we have the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday night football here for first place in the NFC East, or Murray Cooper's out. Man, this is really difficult. At the time of recording this, the Eagles have not made a trade um, for a cornerback. Even if they do, I still think, even if they don't, I think they'll still win. I think this will be a really close game. But I, I just think that they can control the clock with that offense, and I have them winning a really close game. And then there's four teams who have bye weeks this week. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Cleveland Browns, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Carolina Panthers. So let me know your guys' thoughts um, in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? I'll see you guys next time. This is Montana doing our love, and enjoy the weekend. And